What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the 2020 Olympics. I'm your host, White. White. Welcome back to your grandpa's favorite podcast. Yeah, that's how I'm starting it. Abel Tesfe is a Canadian singer, songwriter, and producer, better known as The Weeknd. The Weeknd has released eight studio albums. Thursday, House of Balloons, Echoes of Silence, Kissland, Beauty Behind the Madness, Starboy, My Dear Melancholy, and After Hours. But the project, or projects, I should say, that we're going to look at today is the, the trilogy, you know, Thursday, Echoes of Silence, but the one I'm focusing more on is House of Balloons. This is a classic album cover for album cover design. Anytime that there's a Pinterest board or a list saying the top 10 album covers, The Weeknd's House of Balloons, or any of them in that trilogy, are always going to show up there. It's a classic design with a Polaroid camera looking effect, with a color scheme on top, and some pretty basic font. But it all comes together to look like a very solid album cover, not gonna lie. Shut the fuck up, I'm recording. I was not a huge fan of The Weeknd. I dipped my toes a little bit in Starboy, but, you know, it really came to prominence of, you know, hey, you're doing a pretty good job. It was uh, when After Hours came out. I was listening to After Hours, you know, pretty pretty regularly. It's a pretty good album. And the Deluxe, which came out, which I did a, which I did a cover tutorial on, if you want to see how to create the After Hours Deluxe Edition cover effect, which... You know, one of, one, of, one of the cooler videos I've done. <laughs> but yeah, this is a relatively simple album cover. So if you're just starting graphic design, this is a great place to start. It gets you familiar with fonts, with color scheme, and it's a good way to practice uh, clipping masks and your line techniques. So without further ado, first thing I did was I added my, my legendary box. I made sure it was the exact same color as the background so that the consistency was there. And then I went to create my clipping mask box, which is pretty much me just creating a box over the image layer. So later when I want to add the picture, it is perfectly cropped in the little box. And then after that, I started adding the lines. I only went like maybe like two, three pixels max for the lines and just duplicated them and spaced them out where each of the lines occurred. And then I added, I believe these are called crop lines. I know I'm a professional graphic designer, but I don't know any of the terminology for it. So I'm pretty sure these are crop lines. I made one line, duplicated that line, turned it on its side, and then stretched it so it all, it all worked accordingly. Then after that, I combined them, duplicated it, and then spread them out at the corners, you know, where they appeared respectively. And then I added a few, like, blemishes just to give it a little... A little bit of a more grimy feel and then after that i just created the boxes for the color scheme on top they were a little uneven when i made them so you know after i made all the boxes equally sized i selected them all and shrink them down accordingly then after that I, st I started to work on the font the font that i used that i found works the best was arial bold so that's what i used and apparently i didn't know this but on mac it's different so for me it's arial bold but for you it's helvetica bold i believe I'm pretty sure that's how it worked, don't quote me on it, but that was the font that I decided and I added and I bolded it, you know, and then I added an additional bold on the character section of the type. And I think that was the uh, the font that we were going to work with for the rest of the for the rest of the cover. I added, uh, you know, the classic the bucket. And then after that, I created the house of balloons. I realized that there's no spaces in the titles, which is a cool, cool aesthetic. I'll give you give it props weekend. And then I created the track list in the exact same font. And then I wanted to create the the 10th track, which was like a handwriting edition, which I think was dope, because it's kind of like, I didn't mean for there to be a 10th track, but look at it, look at now. So I found the font, what's the font called? The font that I used for the handwriting portion was a font called, was a font called Honeyscript. I found it on, I believe it was thefont.com. It, it's not, you don't have to pay for it, it's free for personal use, so, you know, might as well. And then I skewered it a little bit, turned it on its side, and then I found a picture that I thought would look really cool. This is where color scheme kind of comes in, where color theory makes its, makes its triumphant debut. What you need to do is you need to figure out what the colors you want to use are, you know? Depending on which cover you used, uh, it's not, like, a consistent s scheme. Like, for Thursday, it's a bunch of different colors. For um, House of Balloons, it's just from you know black to white pretty much and for echoes of silence it's from black to red which is interesting since all the blacks in this picture were turned into dark green i went from dark green to white you know that's a personal choice i decided to make you can you can adjust it you can fuck with it you can do it however the cool thing about graphic design is you don't have to you don't have to do anything that i say you could 
alter this to make it your own. But I'm just telling you, I'm presenting you with ideas, and then you could take those ideas and run with them. And then after that, I duplicated the color scheme, which I got. And then after I got all the boxes to be the colors that I wanted them to be, I color selected the dark green, and then I added it to the box. And then the color overlaid each box after that, and I went in order because color overlaid the first box, and then when I did the second box, I made it a little bit, I made it a little more gray, and then the next one more gray after that, and then so on and so on until I get like a grayish white type thing. After I'm done with the color scheme, I'll duplicate the whole thing, shrink it, and bring it down to the corner to add a bit more. Uh, I don't really know what he was going for here, but I like it. It's a continuation, I think. I don't, I don't know if you guys noticed. I have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've taken, I've taken professional classes, that's a lie, but they, they don't show me this stuff, so I'm giving you my, uh, my college education that I don't have, and I took the House of Balloons logo that I made and just, you know, shrinked it and put it right below the color scheme, the smaller color scheme that we had made previously. Lastly, I forgot to change the lines and the crop marks to black, so I combined them all together and the color overlaid them to black, and that's pretty much it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, uh, that's the weekend's House of Balloons. Fuck! I had my toe. Ugh, I'm snotting. I hope you guys are faring uh, better in this quarantine than I am. I'm getting fat, my allergies are going crazy, it's hot. I feel, in my gut, I have a feeling that soon it'll all be over. We'll all be back to, you know, the new abnormal. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you want to see some other covers that I've made, maybe another cover from The weekend, you can check the After Hours video that I was mentioning before. If you want to see me collab with another YouTuber, a YouTuber by the name of Luke On Demand, I did a video explaining how to recreate experimental rap trio clippings album cover for their Wriggle EP, which in turn I featured on one of his videos, Danny Brown Atrocity Exhibition Review, which I did my own little funny goof there. Thank you for everyone who voted on this. This is my first voted video. I did a community poll on my channel to see which video you guys wanted me to see and you guys wanted me to create a house of balloons tutorial and that's just what i did soon i want to do that again but i have more ideas than just cover tutorials coming i have some video essays i want to work on uh maybe some maybe maybe an album review i don't know lucas really inspired me i'm not gonna lie seeing his uh his level of professionalism and uh his comedic timing and his cadence when he's talking about this stuff i'm sorry if i'm sniffling if i sniffled in the mic at all during this i'm I genuinely sorry but like i can't go outside because i have bad allergies it's so hot in my room i need to open a window but the window lets pollen in so i'm just in a perpetual loop of wanting to die thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed uh check out one of my other videos and thank you for the support i'm getting messages from people you know Someone DM'd me on Instagram. I have an Instagram shout out, so follow me there. He DM'd me, just said, "Hey, you're doing, you're doing good." I'm paraphrasing, but I was like, "You just made my day." So, thank you for the small community we're making. We are on a fucking, we're on the fast track to to 2,000, baby. That's a pretty cool number. Not gonna lie, two 2,000 is a pretty cool number. Uh, at 10,000, I'll make a face reveal. So, if everyone's cool, everyone's relaxed, everyone's opening their windows, not having an allergy attack, I think you guys are good to go. So, you know. Have a pleasant day.